hello and welcome once again. J76NY here and welcome to the continuation of our Abdicom campaign on War on the Sea. This is day 77, April 19th, 1942. We have 37 command points available. Uh, before I started recording, I was looking through the uh, Japanese ships uh, to see what they had left. Um, they've still got a pretty sizable force left, uh, particularly in destroyers, which they seem to have an endless supply of, but that's okay. Uh, we've taken a big chunk out of their cruiser force, both uh, heavy and light. Um, unfortunately, they have all but one of their fleet carriers and most of their auxiliary carriers, plus all of their battleships. So I'm assuming at some point we're going to get a pretty nasty force coming down, and that's going to be one hell of a fight. But for right now, I'm going to put together a force here out of Darwin... Uh, we are going to go with a small wolf pack. Uh, let's see, we got 10, 10 points. I think uh, these, they've only got 16. They've got 24. And they're 10, so we can do three of them. We'll go with the surgeon skipjack oh guess we gotta go with uh sorry here we go there's our wolf pack uh it leaves us with five command points left that is okay for now oh, and I think I used that in my uh, original campaign for a destroyer group that is Hunter 1 Hunter 1 is grab okay, so you'll grab some troops all of you Start ferrying them up to the front lines. Get you. And take them forever to get up there, but that's a there. You have uh, some supply ships. Coming back, heading up. Uh, you guys are going to join up when you get in range. Uh, we have, everyone else is patrolling. I want them to. Got to redo the uh, patrol routes now. There. Hammond. This in a wider patrol route. Stingray up here. Doing what I want. Uh, we've got this destroyer group. It's patrolling here. They're not going to be able to take on anything overly major, but they can be the ones that deal with the uh, groups of destroyers that they've been sending out. This supply convoy is. Moving around to Tiljap, drop off the rest of their uh, supplies down here at Tiljap, and uh, probably loiter in the area for the time being. I may send this uh, freighter back. We've got three anchors. I don't want to have them all uh, collected in one group. They don't really carry that much because I've been uh, cheaping out on the tankers. I've been going with the Dollar General variety, so they don't carry a whole lot of fuel. Other than that, uh, we are doing okay. Uh, this airbase continues to be a problem. I did bombard them with Houston before I sent Houston back. It did nothing, so uh, we're going to leave that alone for now. I may try and throw a uh, funky wrench in the Japanese plans once the campaign uh, progresses to the next level or the next step and uh, put a little bit of troops on this base here. 
kind of try and distract them from what I really want to do. And we'll see how that works. But let's get into today's episode. Alright, here's these guys. Heavy one is moving to intercept. We have them heading straight for him, so we're on a collision course to combat right now. Uh, I didn't realize I had some uh, 139s here that still had some bombs on them, but apparently they missed from the uh, last strike. I've got our Dornier's coming in. I'm going to have them uh, patrol with Heavy 1 so that they get into the combat together. So we're going to go intercept these guys with our battleship. All right, here we are. We've got quite the flight up in here. Uh, all of our fighters are heading to take out this float. We got a Kingfisher in the area. Uh, we're gonna have you patrol. Everyone's got the radar on. Not entirely sure why they can't see the enemy, but I know they're here. They are close enough. So, kind of curious where they might be. And we shot one of them. Get all of our CW21s warmed up. Uh, let's see what a box formation looks like with uh, 10 CW21s. have them uh, roll this area here. Kind of curious where these ships might be. It'd be something if I uh, lost the ships. I don't think I did, but I don't really understand why we haven't picked them up yet, especially with all the uh, air that we have in the region here. Get these guys up and have them come out like this. Uh, Kingfisher, you're in a good spot. Not low enough. There we go. Uh, we got a destroyer. Maybe a heavy cruiser, maybe a light cruiser. I'm pretty sure that's the light cruiser. Have a... Uh, Spite, start targeting the light crew, see how far out they are. 30, 35,000. Smaller group than what I was thinking. But that's right. Uh, let's have buddy pick up their speed. What's the War Spite's top speed? This is what it's. I'm not five. Busy's yeah. going twenty five, ball rots twenty five, seventeen, thirteen. Yeah. Dorniers. Break. Head up. Up here. This uh, CW twenty ones. Is, uh, not as impressive as what I <laughs> wondering if they're gonna take combat or run away. Uh, 
7,000 yards, so you are within range. on M. W21s. We can form up everybody in a line ahead formation. Or spite. Your guns. Targeting number two, we got a 52% solution at 32,000 yards. And if I. Now I think. Hoping this isn't just the entire group here. Just two. It's coming right at us. Yeah, that's the entire group. One, two, three, six. Well, these guys are. Well, oh, there's six of them. Alright. I'm gonna use the uh, Kingfisher here to identify all the ships. So, get that done, we'll figure out what we're going to do and start the battle. Here we go, first into the fight are our Dorniers. I'm gonna drop some bombs on the uh, Agano up here. Also have our CW-21s moving in position in a line ahead formation. They're going to target this Momi here. We're gonna do some strafing. Our battleship and uh, horse fight in Houston. I mean, uh, Boise, I've split off, had them start heading in this direction here, uh, form them up. I'm kind of trying to move everybody around as best I can here uh, to get them into position. Some of them don't have the best of range, um, but we haven't targeted. You have no target, Emerald, and I don't think Dan A does either, so... Alright, we're going to target target the Momi for now. Get back to our Dorniers here. 
We're going 21 knots. Let's get the second group. I'm head up. W21s. Hack. I haven't opened up with my ships yet, but that's coming very soon. Uh, 21 knots. We're gonna put it just past. Bullseye. Right there. A lot of bombs falling on them. You guys did a good job. And you can get out. Got this other group of Dornier's coming in. Got our CW-21's coming in on that Momi that's right there. There we go. Good hit. What we did with the Momi. position here. Kind of a strange line ahead formation here. Get you guys all formed up. Second group of Dornier's. Not exactly where I wanted them to hit, but... Pentagano's still going... 17 knots, so... How these guys do. Put it... Right there. All right, all your bombs are away. You can leave. I don't know why you're flying around the target like this. You can leave. Might not even need to fire on a on the ships with these uh, bombs doing how they are and are strafing. But why not? Uh, looks like a uh, motor torpedo boat is now. Oh, let's range on your secondaries here. Maybe five thousand yards. Narrow. Explosive. Fire. Fire. 
Adelaide is... I just don't seem to want to form up. Adelaide, you come up over here. Understand why these guys are so messed up. Oops, PW21s are flying away. Have them come back. Surprise our Kingfisher hasn't gotten shot down. Alright, so if you guys want to go around on your own, I guess I'll just take control of you. I don't know why Ballrot decided to join them. Go. Alright, head in this direction. Boise. BW21s, drop your speed, and attack. Main guns. Means the Ogano is at a dead. Whoops, at a dead stop. Ought to be good. CW21s, they come in yet? Working on it. Oops, you just missed the, uh, just missed. What do we do here? Some of them are smoking. Probably not gonna do too many strafing runs with these guys. That's my air cover, so. This is the only ship that's charging right at me. CW21s warm up. This way. We did lose sight of the uh, Fubuki that's out here somewhere. Alright, how are we doing? Our formation's still kind of a bit, bit of a mess here. firing on the uh, homie up here. Fire. 
fire. Adelaide. Oh, we're losing all of them. We're losing sight on all of them. CW21s. Pack. Shit. Coming in way too fast. Oh well. Yeah, this is gonna be the last last run for them. I'm up and out. fly over in this area here. There's one of the momies. I honestly think we're going to uh, probably lose these two destroyers here, but that's alright. Alright, are we firing on the momie? A uh, worse fight. Annual fire. There we go. Isn't moving at all, so. again. I don't think I'm going to waste the main gun ammo on this ship. Just shooting though, so... Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put her down. The other these other guys seem to be elite so may just have to finish off this little group of destroyers here Are they shooting at me at all I don't think they're even shooting at me This way. Uh, Adelaide, where are you firing on? Oh, you're taking fire yourself. What the hell are you shooting at? Oh, the Agano? Don't even have. Look at that mommy that's right in front of you. I guess my ships don't really want to do what I tell them to. So we'll just have them do it on their own. Adelaide. Mommy is in rough shape. Hold fire. If you're going to lose sight of them, hold fire. Always have this pedo boat come in and hopefully try and finish them off.
Oh, there's a Fubuki down there. Look how far out she is. 37,000 yards, she's running away. This is that Momi going. Anyone knots? Alright, stop targeting Agano. Targeting Momi. Fire. Fire. Take this Momi out. something silly happens and I take a torpedo my battleship DNA we're getting the Momi have you this Adelaide Everyone's shooting at this moment. All right, they can barely move. Lost just about everybody, too. Sucks. Are bookend. Got very little ammo left. Okay, the Momi is sinking. We just have to find everybody else. I know at least one of these ships is dead in the water, so I can even see her out there. Another Momi. Twenty three thousand yards out. Why not? We're here, we might as well do something. It's just so slow though. He nuts. Alright, well this is what I wanted to see, the Agano. Still firing, or is she dead in the water? Get the 
Gargano. You know, fire. Twenty-eight high explosive rounds left. Oh, she's still shooting. Shooting at my uh, motor torpedo boat out here. And this guy. Armor piercing because we have more of them. Wizzy. Fire. Gotta get some hits eventually here. Far out is this motor torpedo boat, 6,000 yards. Momies look like they're coming at us. Missing like crazy though. The damage on this Agano. Critical and heavy. Here's our motor torpedo boat charging straight at him. Emerald is taking hits. Been too major right now, but taking hits. Have you in? Strikes here. All right, hasn't fired a shot yet. Think any hits on these guys? Oh. Meanwhile, the Agano's still looking good. They haven't started targeting uh, Joel. 
MTB 21 yet. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna start dodging. Gano, or one gun. Testing out a little bit of a theory here as we mess around. We'd get some hits on the Agano, that'd be nice. Oh, that was close. Oh, no. Oh, get the fires under control. Problem is, my torpedoes on this guy are so... Oh, wait. We got 7,000 guards on our torpedoes? Oh, our torpedo launcher is done. Got to avoid uh, damage here. So they get the torpedo launcher fixed. Can't launch torpedoes now. That sucks. Well, this guy's dead. All right, guy. Two. Two degree spread. Manual fire. Try it. See what happens. Can't launch torpedoes. Dead in the water. You can probably shoot him though. As well, fuck it. He's right there. Where you sink. What exactly are they shooting? Little things here. Oh wait, there's a gun. Tick, 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 tick. Getting any hits on these guys at all? It's almost not even worth shooting at them. Alright, hold your fire. Avenge this motor torpedo boat here. So Emerald, stop targeting the Momi. We're targeting you. Can't believe he's still alive. Where is he? There he is. Can we launch? Four seconds we should be able to launch. All right, let's have you break north. Ice coming down, Boise's not. What Boise's doing? Oh, ah! M21 suffers a magazine explosion. I wish I'd seen that. Bye bye. Let's just pour everything we have into the Gano. 
had enough of you. Hell, even the ball rock could probably get. Oh. Never mind. Now she's starting to take a lot of hits. Taking a lot of punishment, but still being afloat, I guess. Alright, we're starting to target these momies here. I'm gonna go for some uh anal fire, try and conserve some of my ammo here. The buggers are hard to hit, so we'll give it a shot and see how we do. Other than that, I'm not gonna waste a lot of ammo on these guys. That should uh, score some hits there. This is just the emerald that's firing on them. Really not concerned with a couple of momies. Did fire, right? are firing at me, so I'll probably start shooting. Just want to get a couple hits on this guy, slow him down a little bit. He's turning. Die again. Have Danae fire on her own accord. Uh, delayed. You are getting the other me out there. Emerald is the one that's manually firing on.
This mummy is, you know, damaged. Probably not a lot of hits will they take to put her down. High explosive. Kingfisher still in the area. Gonna have to rearm these guys. Okay, what's good? What good is ammo if you don't actually use it? Rounds right there. See how it does. There we go. I don't think that was the one that I shot, but it was a hit, so whatever. We are starting to get some some hits here. Six knots. Another hit there. Four knots. Uh, hit on him. Okay, hold fire. Start targeting only numbers. He's firing at all. Birds. Oh, critical good sink. There's a couple hits coming in. Elbow out her way. Could be done soon. I'm oh, not going to pass. Got a hit on him. Oh. All right. Target. Down. Earn. U. M.
takes what to do. That's turn right. Boise. Little more. Lead you up. Okay, Boise should be in a good position here. Turn to the right. Compensating for turn and all any of our shots. Oh. <coughs> Pretty sure that was Boise. I'm not saying it. Straighten it out a bit, so who's there? Not straight now. One hit was enough to really mess her up. something. Where? That'd be something if our uh, battleship shells nailed her. Oh, so close, too. So close. see one of these battleships thing. I think it did. Just hit him. Ah, yes! That's what happens when a battleship hits a Momi. Six knots. Okay, worst fight. Nothing. Right there. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. And she's done. Very nice. Little Momi that couldn't. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, 
uh, good and just damage go. Yeah, we're good. Everyone else left. Go. One command point gained. Alright. These guys are still in the area, unfortunately. Uh, however... Got destroyers. So they're gonna come up and say hello. Probably lead them away. Oh, this area. And then. The one thing to rearm. All of our planes, uh, CW-21s, used a bunch of ammo, so I'm just going to have them, have everybody return to base. Okay, return to base. Uh, we got Hudsons that are returning to base. Do we have anything we can launch? Or these Dorniers, I guess. But we'll get them out. Hopefully finish them off in the, uh, the next episode. Anyway, if you like this one, the third battle of the Java Sea, hit the like button. If you want to follow along through the rest of the campaign, hit the subscribe. Uh, if you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section below, and we will see you when we come back to the Java Sea. Hey, 76NY saying thank you very much, and have yourself a very good day.